Hello everyone and welcome to another installment, I guess, of um, Scholarly Talk on Life. And I wanted to uh, start off with talking about my hair. Today I went back to something that I guess I've been using for now over 10 years. Um, we had a sorority retreat and we about 10 years ago and we went to a hotel in Laguna and it was pretty cool it's probably over 10 years I think it's more like 12 and they had this well small versions rosemary mint inside of the of the hotel and after using it once fell in love and so ever since then now I do I don't have it anymore but I I once I got a huge bottle of shampoo and it took forever to use the huge bottle of shampoo because one tablespoon can lather up your at least all of my hair and so I just decided like never to spend that kind of money on on big bottles of shampoo. I have a small bottle of shampoo, uh, but I don't have it, I think I've run out of it. And so I have used the conditioner for years. And the thing about the conditioner, it's, I mean, first off, Avita is not marketed or, or was designed as a, well, I wouldn't say designed, but I would say that it's definitely not marketed to to black hair. It's marketed to all types of hair. And uh, and out of that kind of market, that's not a direct marketing for black hair. It, I find it to be one of the most, I find it to be a really great hair product. Like, I mean, I have raved about it for years. The conditioner is just excellent. And, um, and so one of the things I was considering is I usually use, and I've used a lot of other Avita products, and I found this leave-in conditioner, and it's really deceptive. It's in a green bottle. I don't have it with me. It's in a green bottle, and I find it very, very deceptive because there's two different types, and, um, and they look exactly alike. So you have to read the fine print right on the label. And I've even tried, it's a, it's a green bottle, a mint green bottle, and I've tried, or sea green, more like, and I've tried the, the shampoo and the conditioner for that line, it's not very good, and I have tried so many different products from Avita, like I really want to love a lot of Avita's products, but none of it, and, and, and the hand, the hand lotion is pretty cool. I, I mean, the foot lotion is, is pretty cool. I kind of like that. But the thing that makes me drive, and, and I live about 45 minutes away from the nearest Avita store, and there's not that many Avita stores. I, you know, being in LA, I will deal with traffic to make it all the way to Century City to go to the Avita store and pick up a bottle of rosemary mint. And the reason why is if you can see it does it really works. I think it does really a really good job. It doesn't really scrunch up your hair, but here's the problem. It does leave you with a bit of a fizz. So if you notice like there's this fizz, it gets a little fizzy. Um Yeah, uh, I still think, and even after using it, I still think that it's still better than Dove. And really, so far, hands down, the best product is Pattern. I, I really can't, I mean, it, it really fits, it checks all the boxes that you really, really want. Nice body, hair movement, it doesn't weigh your hair down too much. And I think that's the biggest thing. The um. Riz's Curls and, and Dove really weighs your hair down a lot more than what you probably would like. 
if you like a lot of body, some movement, some bounce, then I would highly recommend Avita. Um, but even Avita is a little pricier than Pattern. So I kind of would recommend Pattern. Uh, but I do, but I, I would recommend both. Uh, now, <clears throat> uh, there is this very, very old product called Hair Sanu. And the, the 1992 LA Uprising was the last time I saw Hair Sanu. It's almost like Madam C.J. Walker's hair grease went out of business then. And, and by the way, I'm going to buy some Madam C.J. Walker and review Madam C.J. Walker. So stay tuned for that. Um, but I wanted to look at Taraji P. Henson's products. And so I have two. And I actually have a third one that I can use. but And I'll use it next week. so we could, Or maybe tomorrow. So we can see if it how well it works. So Taraji P. Henson, part of the problem with Taraji P. Henson's line is that a lot of the products that it has, I, I don't see a purpose for me. So it's unfortunate that there is no shampoo, conditioner, leave-in hair con conditioner, and, you know, those kind of, it, it's really not a line for that. So I think that that's kind of an interesting space. It's really a line that has these products for people who may style their hair in different ways. Like if you style your hair in braids for one, you know, and and you're really into styling your hair in so many different ways and coloring your hair a lot, that's, it's really meant to protect people's hair who 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 is in need of constant styling. I am just I guess too boring <laughs> and I don't style my hair enough like that anyway with that being said um Tarashi P. Henson's Ride or Die I love the names like the names to me are just so funny Ride or Die is a detangler and leave-in conditioner detangler and boy oh boy I love it if your hair is tang hair sinew is in my mind by Revlon back in the day like it's like Revlon or Clairol back in the day day uh so 30 years ago was super great super super great and I've been over the years my mother was trying all these different products I've now that I'm an adult been trying all these different products to try to get back to that greatness of Harrison new this has matched the greatness of Harrison new problem my mother's tried it and she hates the smell I don't mind the smell and I could barely smell it but my mother doesn't like floral smell so that's part of the problem then this one is like this hot commodity and what it's trying to do is like protect your hair like if you have your hair out all day and you're going to be walking a lot in the sun or just like everyday wear you're supposed to kind of spray it on your hair before you leave with anything in order to protect your hair from getting heat and to stop drying your hair out i will say that it does keep your hair moisturized and there's no stickiness sticky film thing on your hair that on your hands that can get you know kind of annoying every time you got your hair so i mean for both products i think they're great highly recommend it um this one's really light but let me let me warn you that using these two products like as you can see today is not enough you do need a moisturizer on top of these two products so do not think that you can just use these two without a moisturizer you need a moisturizer it's not enough um it does i mean for me i just used these two products just to see how it was gonna go and it definitely left my hair a little bit more frizzy I think I could have used a little bit more, but it's still, it's not dry. So, I mean, that's the positive. It's not, um, but there's a little bit of a fizz. So, you know, that's something to consider. Okay, finally, for my face. So, um, Nordstrom gives like a ton of testers. And so I was on this whole drive to use testers and see 
you know, all these testers because I have all this space and I was kind of getting bored. So that happened a few years ago. And, um, and the one thing I liked was the facial wash by, um, Kills. I'm probably mispronouncing that and I'm sorry. Anyway, I really, really liked it. And I said, oh, okay, like maybe I'll use the whole line. The whole line I did not like. So I um, sometimes try to pick up an occasional thing and I still like the face wash. That's it. The toner and all the other stuff I can't do. Um, but so I used this avocado hydration mask and as you can see, it's it's pretty thick. Um, it I think I'm more surprised that it doesn't spread on um, it spreads on thin, more thin, and then it's crumbly. So when you're putting it on your face, it gets really messy and then it'll fall all around the sink. So that's a little, it, it's, it's a little disappointing. And then as you're rinsing it off, it just kind of crumbles away into the sink. So you definitely have to wash your sink uh, right after you use it, which is, I mean, it's good to wash your sink all the time, but I'm just letting you know that it's not, it's visibly messy. It's a messy thing. Like the other, all the other uh, masks that I have, it just wipes on, it doesn't spill all over the place. It rinses off and all the other stuff. This one is just messy. So putting that aside, when you first put it on your face, it's cool give it a few minutes and it starts tingling so um my only i like it i'm not and i only use it at night and it does make my my face feel i like the clean feel i do not like having my face over moisturized um and i'll just start wiping my face um just because i am a combination skin so i'm not oily anyway i'm not naturally oily um but uh, and for years, I never put a moisturizer on because I just, I'm just one of those people that just does not like um, an oily face or just even a, a highly moisturized face. So I do like a really almost like squeak, squeak kind of clean um, sensation on my face. Um, avocado one, it doesn't do that and it doesn't dry your skin out. But I will say that if I leave it on any longer than five minutes um, and I rinse my face off, I do get a little rosy here. So it's not that I, it's just as advice, I, I would not use it if I had sensitive skin. I would just push it to the side, which seems kind of strange because avocado is supposed to be really great for the skin and it's supposed to be sensitive, very good for sensitivity. I would not use that. If I was going to be sensitive, if I have really sensitive skin, I'd use rose that we used um, yesterday and the one even for the day before. Okay, so that was my beauty. I do want to say I have one small review. Um, Space Force on Netflix I had high hopes my hopes were too high I am kind of disappointed it was semi funny it was um, I think maybe it wouldn't be I don't know. I don't know if it was times where I'm supposed to cry or I'm supposed to like laugh because you can kind of see this administ the the Trump administration making some of the decisions that they made in this video. I mean in this uh series. I do think that Space Force could have been I would have preferred an hour and forty five minute movie or even a two hour movie instead of having 23 or to 33 minute episodes, I think that it was just, no. <laughs> That's kind of how, how I feel. It was just a, 
no thank you hard pass don't show this again and I will not watch it again and thank you good night uh, so, and I'm sure there's probably going to be a season two since it's highly popular and I'll watch it. Like, it's not a terrible thing. It's not a terrible show. It's not, I think it could have been funnier because Steve Carell is pretty funny. And, um, and I think maybe it's just a little, I, actually the person who is the most funny is John Malkovich, but I like all the things that he's in. And I just... Um, I love the fact that you know that it was filmed at Cal State Dominguez Hills. So I think that's pretty funny. Uh, but I mean, I'm not as eager to watch that as much as here's the positive. Uh, my, my fellow colleague, Mo Kelly, right, uh, sent us a, sent us Nerdorama cast members, I guess you could say, or, uh, comrades friends uh he sent us a text message saying we need to go watch this show called the twilight zone and for years you know for a while i've been really uh, wanting to see the um the spinoff of the good wife that's on channel cbs uh has their own paid service and i'm just kind of annoyed that i have to pay for really good shows you should just put on channel two Anyway, so um, I've been meaning to see it and I've been meaning to attach it to my Amazon Prime. And um, so now it just gave me kind of an excuse for it because if you buy it per episode, then you're paying for a month of just watching uh, or just paying for the service. So it's like $5.99 a month. So, I mean, and I have nothing else to do in my life at the moment besides work from home and raise two kids. So I've, um, you know, and, you know, some other stuff I'm exaggerating the simplicity of my life so I decided to uh, watch the Twilight Zone before I even got to uh, the other shows that I've been really really meaning to watch and let me say the Twilight Zone is fan freaking tastic I am I love every episode I mean I deeply love every episode and Jordan Peele is doing such a wonderful job with the Twilight Zone he has great writers they're very um he takes a very simplistic idea and has flipped on its head I highly urge you highly encourage you to check out the Twilight Zone and do a free trial of CBS and and try to to get that moving. Um, okay, so tomorrow I don't know what we'll talk about. I think maybe <laughs> I will see. Definitely we'll talk beauty and and a review. Have a great afternoon and I will see you tomorrow.